The following program is sponsored by The Greek, Ely's Radio Shack dealer at 570 Altman in downtown Ely, and brought to you as a public service by Georgetown Media in Ely, Nevada. Regional Planning Commission meeting, June 21st, 2023. Sit over here, yeah. George's camera has about 20 pounds. Uh, oh, George. And then uh, there was his camera. Do you want gestures? <laughs> <laughs> okay. On the order, the Wednesday, June 21st, Regional Planning Commission meeting. And uh, George, will you lead us in the pledge? Yes, sir. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Sorry about that. Can we start out with public comment? Public comments during the Regional Planning Commission will be for all matters, both on and off the agenda, and will be limited to three minutes per person. The Commission reserves the right to reduce the time or limit the total time allowed for public comment. Comments during discussion items may not be accepted from the general public. The Commission may prohibit content is uh, comments are willfully disrupted in the meeting or being slandered, offensive employment, or irrational or amounting to personal attacks or interfering with the rights of other speakers. And so with that, we will open for public comment. Who first? All right. Sounds good. Moving on. Did you want to go first? <laughs> no. Okay. There's plenty of room. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I express a concern in regards to the area where Pine West wants to develop the old stack that you see down on Avenue let's see, Avenue B and 8th Street. A lot of graffiti. I don't know where a lot of our politicians came from. They may be used to it, but in this community we're not. It needs to be cleaned up. Whoever's doing that is misspelling the word fun, and they're using CK instead. Here's a picture of uh, three young people there. I don't know if they're the uh, artists, but again, we've got to stop that. Mr. Chairman, I'm requesting a copy of any and all complaints made that involve the Pine West LLC proposed development area and the dates that the complaint was made. I want to know, uh, <clears throat> I would like to know what the complaint regarded, who made it, to which government entity it was addressed, who resolved the concern the data was resolved and a copy of the written action taken and to whom it was addressed. The other concern I have also deals with the Pine West area, the convenience store. That awning is about to fall, been that way for months, and we're just ignoring the issue. That has got to stop. You don't need to cite anybody if you're going to allow this. When an area gets run down, people do want to want to clean up. But when a person is a contractor and then ignore the issue, you folks have a problem. Mr. Chairman, I've asked in the past, oh, by the way, I should have clarified that I'm here as an individual. I'm not representing the board or anyone else. I've asked for months for uh, permits to park RVs. Yet Mr. Carson continues to do that. I want to see his permit. I want to be treated the same under the, the law. We have a problem with Clark Street. It's a one-way street, yet we have semis driving up that uh, road, one facing traffic, one against traffic, and we have those that are unloading, throwing the ramp across the sidewalk. Can't block that. We don't need to address that. We have to change the uh, designation again, limit parking, and we need to do that. Mr. Chairman, the Planning Commission, City of Ely, does not address the city uh, code violations by previous and present members of the planning commission as well as the city councilman and county commissioner. I've given you a list of the past. This is Leah. Her fence is way too high. She doesn't fence off 
a, a construction, active construction area. You do not leave construction vehicles, trailers, whatever, on the street. She's got plenty of property. Everybody else has to uh, stay online. That includes people from the planning committee. Thanks. Thanks, George. I want some answers, sir. As an individual. I'll be back hey, as George, a thank you. Public okay, any, uh, any other public comment? We shall close a couple of comments and we'll move on to item A. Discussion of possible action approval of a city home occupation permit. The applicant is uh, Lise Jacobson, DBA, Lux T and D. Property address is 984 Avenue C, Ely, Nevada, 89301. Type of business is automotive detailing. She is on the meeting by Zoom. I'm hoping she can hear us. She'll have to unmute herself. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, perfect. You want to tell them a little bit about what you want to do? So we're doing a mobile detailing and tenting business um, mobily. So you're just home, home based there on uh, Navajo C and, uh, and you're out around town? Yes. Okay. When you talk about automotive detailing, you're talking also uh, like businesses when they put their signs on the side of their door of their vehicles, things like that? Or is this just striping? Yes, we have a trailer that we carry everything in. I think the question was, uh, what, what kind of detailing are you doing to the vehicles? Um, cleaning, basic cleaning on the inside and outside of the vehicle. Oh, okay. It's, it's and no, tinting the windows. Okay, so it's just the cleaning. It's detailing, no... No pinstripe detailing, no sticker detailing, anything like that. No, 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 no. Okay. Just cleaning. Just cleaning. Okay. Mr. Chairman, uh, I don't have any problems with uh, approving this, but I do have a concern. Nothing in the paperwork shows ownership, and that's a condition. Is there ownership here? If not, we need to get... Uh, Permission from the owner on record. Um, ownership of the home? Yes. Um, no, we don't own it. We rent it, but we have talked with our landlord and the owner, and they're supposed to be getting a letter to the city of Ely about us um, being able to do it here. We need to have that at the meeting. Did you get it from me? They said that they're emailing it to Robin. I'm sorry, do you want to make your motion conditional upon receipt of the letter within so many days? Within, uh, I, I want to know if it was emailed to Robin. I want the date of the email and why that wasn't included in the packet. They were told they needed it. and No, the are, young, young lady are. said that. But yes, and they are emailing it to Robin. We should Doesn't have it like at the it. meeting. It's pretty sloppy when we don't have it at the meeting. It I can't make a good decision unless well, I have George, it in the backup. No, it's a matter of, okay, let's just talk about process, not that's what personal I'm, comments. That's what I'm talking about. The process is not working. It isn't the first time it hasn't no. been brought up. So the if approval can be made based on receival of the letter, correct? Uh, it was uh, the is, is Ms. Jacobson representing that they have or soon will be sending the uh, letter from the landlord saying getting permission to run the business. Is that what you're saying, Ms. Jacobson? Um, yes. Okay. Yeah, so you can make it conditional upon receipt of that uh, letter by email to the uh, clerk within so many days. Okay. If you wish to make a motion as to such. My concern is we've turned other people down before, and that's not fair. You don't have to make a motion. I'm not going to, but I just okay. want to make that point. We have to be fair to everybody. 
We, we hear that from you every single meeting, George. <laughs> We're trying to be. Well, I think if they're sending that, then we make a motion conditional, and it's up to who's, who's going to monitor that, who monitors that? You will. So it's on your shoulders. So like if it's not received that. within <laughs> 10 days, then. Well, then if, if they have it already and it's ready to go, I'd say within three days. I mean, I'm not going to sit and wait very much. I'd make it conditional on like three, three uh, calendar days. days. Three calendar days. So what's so, today? Wednesday? So, so it has to be Saturday? The, before Saturday. If that's your motion, then you can. That's what I'd say, because if they already have it ready, it's ready to go. Or they have it would be ready Monday. tomorrow. Three, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I'd Did say within five days, Monday, over the weekend. Five calendar days? Five calendar days. Then I would make the motion to approve conditional bond that. Otherwise, no. Because she's oh. representing they have it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I guess I don't understand what the problem is. Well, they don't, they're having a business out of the home, but they don't own the home if they're getting permission from the owners because they just rent it. Oh. So they're just going to get that letter in by Monday to say that they're okay to, to oh, do that. letter in to, to these folks. So to our, boss. Our, yeah, our approval is conditional upon receiving that letter from the owner. By end of day, Monday. By Monday. Because verbally she's representing she has permission, but the motion is that the board wants uh, written proof of the permission. Point of order. She's really had a grace from these people. Okay. Otherwise, no, no and go ahead, whatever. Oh, and, and you move to? Yeah. I move to. I'll second that. George has a question. George? The lady just stated that it was emailed to Robin. If that's the case, it's at City Hall, which means it's available tomorrow. She said they were emailing it to Robin. I don't believe they said they sent it yet, correct? Um, yes, that's correct. What's your point, George? It's available tomorrow, therefore? If it had been emailed, it would be at City Hall, and we'd have it tomorrow. But correct. if it hasn't been emailed, then... But the motion was that's why I'm making five, five, five calendar within days. Five, within calendar within days. five days. Because she said she didn't hadn't done it yet, so I give her Monday, and if she doesn't have it, then it's dead. Whatever. And did you and second the motion, Rob? Then she'll have to have it by next meeting. So. Did Rob so. second it? Yes. Rob okay. second it. Then are okay. you closing the discussion? Okay. I guess we'll bring this to a vote, but uh, it will be approved upon approval. It's five days within today's date. By the end of Monday. Yeah, by the end of Monday. And, uh, okay, so all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, it passes with that condition. So, Alizé, please just make sure that they email that to me. If you need my email address, just call me tomorrow at City Hall. Okay, thank okay, you. Thank you. Okay, let's move on to item B. Discussion for possible action approval of a city home occupation permit. Applicant is Scott Lee, DBA, Clean Green Contracting. Property address is 2351 Campton Street, Ely, Nevada, 89301. Type of business is landscape contracting. So this one, the gentleman was here, but it's being withdrawn because he owns a commercial building on Altman Street um, that he is actually going to be working out of. So he doesn't need the home occupation permit. Okay. So, so then, item B is being withdrawn. I have a comment. On item B in the paperwork, there's no uh, ownership or permission from the owner. The fact that he's got a commercial building is fine, but the application does not state that. And it was the same thing. I told them both, George. They were notified, so. If they're I, notified. If they got it to me, I could have brought it to the meeting and handed it out, but I can't do any more than that, so. Okay. Okay? You know when the agenda's made up? That's the deadline. Well. Well, there are things that come in after the fact, but it's, that's not open for discussion right now. So. Okay. Close item B. Open to item C. Approval of a county home occupation permit Applicant is 
Jeffrey Brendan DBA Star Tactical Shop. Property address is 980 77th Street East, Ely, Nevada, 89301. Type of business is firearms and public safety supply. Hi. Um, I've had a, a business in Ely over on Murray Street since 2017. Uh, I do uniforms in prison, um, sheriff's department. Um, I'm a sergeant at the prison also, so most of my business is just mainly law enforcement and um, public safety, fire and EMS. Um, I just recently lost the lease because I had a firearms license and the, the insurance company, that the owner of the building where I've been at, um, they wouldn't keep the insurance on me because I had a firearms license. I don't store firearms there. Um, but they just didn't like the fact that I had a firearms license. So I'm just trying to um, get approved for the home-based business because it's not my main source of income. Um, I just, like I said, I, I do, it's not open to the public all the time. I mainly just do uniforms and, and um, firearms. Uh, I don't see, I don't store a bunch, most of my stuff is special order. So I don't store a bunch of stuff. I don't store, you know, a bunch of ammo, or um, I don't do reloading, store powder, anything like that. Yeah, I went, went by your place yesterday, so I didn't see a lot of a lot of outbuilding and everything. No. Just, uh, <laughs> I, I I thought they'd had a had a, a business over on Murray. Yeah. Now is your business gonna be, like on C? It says 980 77th Street East. And 417 Murray, where's your business going to be out of? Um, the 987 Street. Okay. The 417 Murray was the where I used to be. Was the original one. Right. Okay. So you're, it's going to be out of 987. Correct. Okay. And like I said, most of the stuff is, I mean, people I work with, the prison, the sheriff's department, so I don't plan on you know having a bunch of extra traffic out there or anything. And from what you told me, the state license cannot be transferred until you have... Disapproval. The no. the federal firearms license yeah. they will not transfer it until I have the approval. And it is a it's I have a manufacturer's FFL, which just means in, in ATF language I I can put together a gun. It's not like manufacturing with they don't have a bunch of machines and, and building stuff. It's just um, their definition is you can put together a gun you're a manufacturer. Okay. <laughs> If you sell it, right? Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to clarify. <laughs> I think you're just relocating due to lack of insurance. I mean, basically, in that compliance yeah. with FFL, ATF. So I move to, I don't have any discussion on that. I move to approve. Second. Okay. Okay, Jesse moves to approve, and uh, George seconds, and let's put this to a vote. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? You're approved. All right. We'll get Thank a license. <laughs> okay, we move on to item D. Approval of a parcel map. Applicant, Godin Family Living Trust, wishes to divide parcel... 010-750-16 into two equal parts. The address and or general location of the property is near Jennifer Hills Drive, uh, Country Road, Ely, Nevada, one, one quarter section southeast, one quarter section 21, Township 16 North, Range 63 East. Good afternoon. Uh, Reverend Burrell with Solaris LLC. Um, where I'm representing the Godown Family Trust. And what it is, we have a uh, existing lot uh, out on Juniper Hills, and we're just gonna divide it basically in half. Uh, they're not exactly equal, they're within 40 or 50 square feet of being equal. So it's just taking one lot, taking two lots. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Greg, point out the two lots. This is the second page. Right there. 
And which is the line, which is the parts you're dividing right from there? We're taking this big lot here. And splitting it and putting the cul-de-sac in. Cul-de-sac's already there. Okay. So everything is existing. We're just gonna, we're just putting this line in. Make two parcels. What, what does the circle represent? That is the uh, a, fire access and uh, fire access staff. to the parcels. Turn around for fire trucks. Here, 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 here. That's existing on the original map. Not, there's no buildings on that property? There's no buildings yet. But there will be? Yes, single family residence. And those are 2.78 a piece, so the uh, zoning out there is for that? Yes, exceeds the zoning by a uh, quarter acre. Okay. Is there, straight forward on that. is there water sewer available for those folks? No, it'll be uh, uh, septic and uh, uh, well. Are they within 400 feet of the uh, city limits? City limits? Yes. Uh, that I don't know. You need to check NRS. There's no uh, water service there. So. Within 400 feet. Is this, uh, this property out, is it within the city limits or out in the county limits? It's in the county. Okay. And no, they are not within 400 feet of the city limits. They're uh, south of uh, uh, the bypass. So. Okay. Because it shows the community college there. What is that zone? Is that a, what is that zone as residential or, or is it party 43 or what is it? I don't remember. But I saw something. But it's, not, it's not RA5 or anything like that out here. No, the, the, it meets the zoning. It's uh, two and a half acres okay. minimum. I just don't want to be spot zoning in the middle of something. Right. Right. Yeah, no zone, no zone, zone change is, is being requested. We're performing. Okay. Motion to approve. Yeah. Second. Okay. George moves to approve. Judge seconds. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? It is approved. Thank you. Jennifer from Mega Marvel Thank you. Next item E, approval of boundary, boundary line adjustment. Applicants Carter Urban Incorporated and CG Land Holdings LLC wish to adjust the boundary line between assessor parcel numbers 013-143-04 and 013-143-05 to allow for new development. Address at our general location of the properties is 272 West 7th Street, South, London, Nevada, section 4, 5, and 3233, Township 11 North and 12 North Range 62 East. Well, come on up. I'll let you uh, tell them what you'd like to do. And I'll help out from there. All right. Um, so I'm, I'm Blaze Griffin. That you are. Oh, okay. um, I'm Blaze Griffin, uh, um, representing and owner, also or part of one of the owners of CG Land Holdings and Carter Griffin Incorporated. Um, both they are two entities owned by the same group of people with the same ownership. So um, just thought that might be important to know. Um, we. Of the two parcels, we're, we're trying to adjust the, the lines to allow for uh, 
our plan is to build a new farm equipment dealership. If you've been through Lund, headed to Las Vegas recently, you've seen a big mound of dirt. Um, the, so the dirt has started to fly, but we're, we're trying to get all of the ducks in the row before we can get a building permit and get all of that going. So um, in order to do that, uh, we need to adjust this uh, boundary line between the two parcels um, to allow, I think we're trying to create an 18-acre uh, um, parcel out of this in order to uh, build our dealership on. So that's that's the uh, quick summary. Any specific questions that you have for us? The parcel does face uh, 318. It is. Thank you. I got a question for you. Yes. Did Max catch up with you? He did. Okay. Uh, do we need to make that known here? Yeah, it sounds like on uh, on one point of the of the uh, application, it says Highway Six on uh, on one of the sections, right? Which is it? Which is not correct. It should be Highway Three Eighteen. It's just Three Eighteen. Yeah. There's we're, we're far away from Highway Six, so that was <coughs> that was an error. Yeah. Yeah. What is that road? 318? 318? Yes. Yeah, Highway 318 is the one that they're facing. And, and is the, 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 the property address is 272 West 7th Street South Run? That's correct. Okay. I'm sorry for the record, Dave Miller, Basin Engineer. And if they have in the zoning area where and they have the building planning department here where you have Highway 6, and if you just say it's Highway 318, there's no issue there. It's not 6. We're okay just to do that now. Yeah, he's amending that. The, in the uh, action uh, item that's described, it gives the exact property address and the correct legal description for that property address, correct? Okay. So we have a typographical error on Highway 6. That's just in the application paperwork? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. on number nine on the very first page, building and planning, it says access traffic, Highway 6, it should be Highway 318. And number three. Up there. And number three. Yeah. So three, six, and nine need to be Highway 318. Yes. Yeah. Actually, a little ways away. And that's just on your summary of the findings of facts. Is all that is. Okay, we can make those adjustments on the uh, application paperwork and just resubmit those in after approval. But it sounds like they're going to be accepted here because everywhere else it says direct access to Highway 318. Okay. So the boundary line adjustment, you're moving over where that was 05 here, but because you're extending your C3, you're just scooting that up here? It's, it's currently all. Uh, open range. This, this is all 05? Yeah, yeah our mm -hmm. next item number will is going to to address uh, commercial. Uh, okay. So number F here. So boundary line adjustment now. Yes. Boundary line adjustment now and zone changes up shortly on the agenda. Second. Okay. Jesse, you move to approve it. Uh, George seconds. And uh, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Boundary line passes. Let's move on to um, close of uh, item E. Open to public hearing and decisions. Public hearing on for the consideration of a proposed application for reclassification and zoning of property located in or near Lund, Nevada. Applicants are at CG Land Holdings, LLC, and Carter Griffin, Incorporated. Represented by Basin Engineering, they are requesting the subject property to be changed from uh, O-5 Open Range to C-3 Highway Commercial District. The subject property addresses and general locations are 
near the intersection of State Highway 318, State Road 318, and 3rd Street, South Lund. Nevada Hazard Assessor's parcels numbers are 013-143-04 and 013-143-04. Prior to boundary line adjustment, upon approval of the boundary line adjustment, and the new zoning will only apply to what is designated as parcel 2 on the Exhibit A of the proposed application. So a public hearing on that. Same correction to the Highway 6 reference on the, uh, uh, the uh, summary of the application should be 318, or in this case it is Highway 6. Public comment. Okay. 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 I'll go with Jennifer in the morning and we'll make sure what I need to on the public hearing? Yes. The parcel above it, that's 05 then? Staying yes. 05? Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. the one below, is that 05 here too? So this, we're this selling one here. Okay, so this is the one that we want to adjust, adjust to so. commercial. Uh, what, what we'll do here is we will close the public hearing side of it and open oh, okay. to discussion for possible actions. Oh, sure. Oh. Um, and this is the approval of a proposed application for a reclassification zoning property located on or near Lund, Nevada. Applicants are at CG Land Holdings, LLC, and Carter Griffin Incorporated, represented by Basin Engineering. We're requesting the subject property be changed from 05 Open Range to C3 Highway Commercial District. Subject properties and our addresses and our general locations are near the intersection of State Highway 318, SR 318, and 3rd Street South, Lund, Nevada, essential parcel 013-143-04 and 013-143-05. Prior to boundary line adjustment, upon approval of the boundary line adjustment, the new zoning will only apply to what is designated as parcel 2 on Exhibit A of the proposed application level for that for, the, for discussion. Okay. Yeah. And now you have 05 here, and what's below here? Is that 05 too? Uh, below there, we don't actually own that piece. No, but there. who? What is the zoning down there? Um, it's it's uh, BLM no, open range. Oh, okay. Open okay. Range land, yeah. I'm just trying to make sure we aren't doing spot zoning, but I like commercial along the highways. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, I'd, yeah. rather than open range, I'd like to see the commercial along the highways, but I just want to see if it's 05 commercial, 05, then maybe, you know, mm -hmm. something to look at. But, yeah, I, yeah. It's there's public land, not BLM. Public land here. Yeah, it's public <laughs> land. That's if, for reference too. That's there's the cemetery. We call it Cemetery Road. Yeah, yeah. That's that's on the corner. So we're we're bordering the Cemetery Road, okay. which is that Third Street South Lund. Okay. And then Highway 318. Okay. And so it's that corner. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Thank you. Now on this page, it's showing. Uh, your zone change. What is this piece of ground? Just curiosity. Um, that is actually land owned by others. There's, there's, uh, I think three or four five-acre parcels down, down in that area that are also, I think, are open range. But and they won't be affected by it's only that. Correct. It's only yeah. right there is the only piece that we're talking about uh, changing the zone. And then the little the little cutout on this side is the cemetery. Is well, what is that zone? Do you know? I, I think it's open range, but I, I don't know. Not off the top of our head, we don't know. Yeah, we don't. Yeah. Our it's away from our project area that we're looking at changing the zone for. Right, and I was yeah. curious because I live down there and I mm -hmm. I haven't gone to look to see oh who owns that. And, Maybe, you know. So, just to clarify, parcel two is for the new farm equipment dealership. Yes, so that's where we'll put the, the new dealership. Yeah. Motion to approve. A second. Okay, George. Motion to approve. 
Jesse seconds. I'll second. Jesse okay, seconds, seconded. He seconds the second? Oh. <laughs> okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So you get this new property now, you'll have more inventory. So, I mean, your price is going to go down, economics of scale? We hope so. <laughs> yeah. So, stack it deep and sell it cheap. Be <laughs> <laughs> it isn't working now, is it? It's not working right it's now. It's tough, but we do need some more space. So, we are excited about trying to. That's we're, good. We're going to go from two and a half acres in town to 18 acres outside of town. Yeah, that would be a lot nicer. Hopefully, get a little, a little more mobility. You know. yeah. Good luck. Yeah. It's going to be an undertaking. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Have a good night. Good night. You too. And we will close that item, close the public hearings and decisions, and we will open for discussion for possible action. Item G, approval of minutes from Regional Planning Commission meeting held on May 17, 2023. I know. You didn't find anything? All right. I didn't find anything either. So. George, you got anything? Okay. Do I hear a motion to approve? Right. Right. Yes. Okay. Rada makes a motion to approve. Do I hear a second? Second. Jesse seconds. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Minutes are approved. Move on to public comment. Period of voters and comments from the general public are made, and decisions of these comments and no action may be taken on the matter reason item of the agenda until the matter itself has been specifically included on an agenda as an item upon which action will be taken. Yes. Jess, are you going up? No. Nope. I thought you, I saw you move. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. I have some things I put in writing, I think. That's what they require here, I think. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. As uh, a member of the board, at the last meeting, I asked that uh, we put on the agenda uh, items from board members, uh, reports that we put on there. I also asked for uh, the inclusion of, for discussion, possible zoning concerns for future agenda items, discussion, and action. That wasn't put on there. We need to address that. If not, I want to know why not. It was on there before, and now it's been taken off. What are we here for? Now, as a uh, private individual, <coughs> if you look at the minutes, I've not gotten one answer to all my questions. And we need to address that. Uh, I'm no different than anybody else. I've been in politics for a long time. I always answer one way or the other. Sometimes you don't like it. That's just the way it is. But we have NRSs, we have city codes, we have county codes, and things are not going the way they should be. Mr. Chairman, um, let me get back here. Nothing's been done in regards to the ADA concern I had uh, on Avenue D and 14th Street, between 14th and 15th Street, state project, federal regulations, all new projects, ADA compliant, not happening. Same with uh, Great Basin Boulevard, that's in the minutes, just another repeat. <coughs> I've asked for a list of properties and individuals that the city has permitted and allowed to park RVs on the city lots and city streets while living in them. All of those permits are approved by the Planning Commission. I haven't approved one since I've been here, and I don't think any of you folks have. Yet they're all over the place, and yet I put in requests for a permit, and I'm going nowhere for close to two years. The discrimination's got to stop. Either you start enforcing uh, city code, no trailers more than 24 hours on the city street, or you treat me just like anybody else, give me a doggone permit so I can make a living. 
Yeah, also in that regards, I've asked uh, uh, before the city council uh, utility board whether some of those that are on the streets, if they don't uh, have permission from the owner or they don't own the lot, if they're paying the proper <coughs> utility fees, water, sewer, landfill fees. We don't know that. That needs to be addressed. I'm getting uh, a little uptight and I want the information. As a public official, if I don't get it, I'm going to use NRS 197.190, obstructing a public officer. NRS 197.090, interfering with the public officer. Time's up, Reverend. So you're, you're, you're commenting as a private citizen, correct, Troy? Yes. Okay. The last two items, no. Excuse me. Right. I thought I was clear on that. No. no it was public. Okay, public let me clear. Comment. You're, not gonna, you're not going to withdraw? If it's public comment. It's not for... Uh, Listen to the public comment. The last two items were as a public official. No, we can't put it that way. Yeah. First, when he was speaking as a board member, items before for the board um, regarding the zoning and the reports, and then he, started, he spoke as a private citizen after that. Okay. And there was no change after that. Okay. Okay. Uh, just for clarification, so everybody knows, when we get these zoning changes uh, applied or the lot splits, that sort of thing, uh, one of the very first things I do is make sure that the split or, you know, board and boundary adjustment is going to be compliant with the, with the zoning regulations that are on that current plot. So I'm obviously not looking at any sort of future work, but whatever is proposed, we make sure that it meets the minimum criteria. So um, if you, you look in my um, summary that I sent everybody, um, I wouldn't approve something if it was, um, you know, unless it was an error, but I wouldn't approve yeah. something intentionally if um, the zoning didn't match what the request was. So, um, and two, um, we had a member of this board come to the uh, city council meeting last month, uh, last, last city council meeting that we had, they were talking about how there was a zoning enforcement case against the property on uh, Avenue G. I believe. Um, so I would just uh, advocate that uh, anybody who's a member of the public trust um, be accurate with your information. Um, if you're going to stand up and make public comment and it's entirely mis or disinformation, then um, I would just recommend that uh, you gather the facts before you talk. Thank you. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. No. Uh, probably best not to. That's my recommendation. You can speak to him afterwards. Okay. <laughs> Okay. And, and if needed in the future, you can put it on the agenda for whatever discussion needs to be done. Okay. I was just going to clarify. And just a reminder, anything that any of you want to put on the agenda needs to be to me at my office by the first of the month. Can be requested at a public meeting then. You can come to me. I need whatever backup material you're going to, to put with it or how you're wanting something worded. I can't just do it off that. So if you can get whatever you're wanting on the agenda by the first of the month to me. Okay. Generally okay, can I just make a public comment? Yeah. Okay. I got to go up there too. Yes. It's best if you do. Camera's rolling, so be Camera's nice. Rolling. Get my good side forward. Okay. You don't want to bend over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm looking at some things I know one has on RPC before. We have, uh, I know, some home occupations that are not compliant that... Uh, People aren't living there, they aren't doing business there, but they made a kind of a grease monkey junkyard out of the places. And uh, I guess I'll have to write a letter, you need it in writing or something to do that, to get the address. But then there was also another one that I know we'd approved before, and I see that was only going to have two or three vehicles at the very most, and no tires, no junkyard, and it's turned to a junkyard again in about 100 vehicles and they were supposed to put up a fence, and it's changed ownership, and it's done that. And uh, another one that's a junkyard that I consider that is coming into town, and uh, amongst a couple of them, that uh, the fence has fallen down, and it's a junkyard. And I just spent 3,000 miles going to Montana over to South Dakota and back through Wyoming, and I never saw a town look as ratty as this one. And uh, I know just home occupation, I've talked about it before, I guess, but you need somebody to write down the name and address? Uh, you file uh, the initial complaint with the uh, building department okay, normally. Okay.
for the violations, okay. and then if they, when they get time, uh, but they the whole thing was the whole thing was I went with hoping the person would do what they said they would do, and they have totally violated. And right. people that opposed it said that's what it's going to turn into, and it turned yeah. into that again. Right. So the so process there's been is like three of them that that has gone through. That's why the, the mechanic type shops, workshops, are the, the tough ones for me to look at because sure. they start building up quite a number of vehicles. Right. So if, if you believe they're in violation, then you oh, just start the you start what the we voted on. You start the investigation process and then with the building department and then if, if they have questions of me for the legal process, then I'll I'll do I have to give an address and a name or do I have to write a letter? Uh, I'm not sure how formal. I can give you a name is. and address. And I'll put my name right to it, right there. We but generally accept complaints in writing. Okay, just so just going. I, I just don't want to get into a long length letter. Just here it is. Yep, I think that's it's that's sufficient. Mm -hmm. okay. And sometimes George will have pictures of it if if you're able to snap it. Oh yeah, I got it. It's clear. It's just which, getting worse, worse, worse. Which line of sight to the property you're referring to, or whatever? Oh, okay, because sometimes that. something in the rear may not be a violation. No, I'm saying right on the street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's on a case by case basis. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, any of your uh, public comment? Yeah, I'll pull up those uh, public comment and we'll move on to adjournment. Motion to adjourn. Second. Okay. Jesse. Says we adjourn. George seconds. And all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> <laughs> We're adjourned. <laughs> the exception of Ray. Yep. All of yep. it says that they can be removed in the middle of July. If I, am I able to send out like a list of the home occupation permits? Uh, this has been a Georgetown production. George Chat just reporting.